Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I have my third Christmas look for you guys. I went ahead and created two other ones, so if you guys haven't seen those, go check those out. This one is more on the neutral side. I did create a more of a smoky glam eye and a toned down lip but I definitely liked how this came out. My last two have more of a bold lip, so I wanted to do something a little bit more different for you guys. If you guys wanna see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. To start off and hydrate the face, I'm gonna be taking my Mario Badescu Rose Water. I absolutely am in love with this, so I use it every time to just make sure my face is nice and hydrated. Once that rose water has set onto the face, I like to go in with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and add it onto the tips of my fingers and then work it into the skin. For primer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX. It looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that onto the T-zone area of my face. This helps control my oils, so I like applying this on the T-zone to make sure that we're nice and matte throughout the day. For foundation today, we are going to go ahead and use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. It looks like this. I'm in the shade Medium Beige, and we're just going to go ahead and use a few pumps and apply it on the face with the Beauty Blender. To conceal the under eyes, I'm going to go in with this yellow corrector from LA Girl. And I'm just going to apply that in a triangle shape right under the eye. And this is just going to help keep the eyes nice and awake. Um, before applying our concealer. Going in with the Beauty Blender, just blending that out. I'm going to go in with my Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 125 and it looks like this. And I just really like this to highlight um, that area where we just applied that yellow concealer. Using my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I am in the shade Fair number 10 and it looks like this. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this on the Beauty Blender and just bake under the areas where we concealed so that we can make sure that everything stays in place throughout the day. Also baking really helps um, to keep me from getting oily so I really do like to bake if I have my wet and wild stick and it looks like this this is in the shade where's walnut and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the areas where we're gonna bronze later just to add a little more definition and have a base for that powder bronzer and to blend out my bronzer you guys already know I like using this dome brush I like to spray it with a little bit of the Mario Badescu spray and then I just like to work that into the skin. And 
And to blend out the nose contour, I'm going to go in with this small angled brush. Same thing, just go ahead and spray it with a little bit of spray just so that it makes it easier to blend out. Taking my beauty blender, I'm just going to go over everything to make sure it's all melted into the skin and everything is blended out smoothly. There's no harsh edges. To set the contour, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my Milani Baked Bronzer. This one is in the color Soleil and it is in number 5. I really like this one because it adds a nice warmth of color without being too orangey. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a stippling brush and apply that where we just contoured to set that in place. applied our bronzer I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these areas just so that it's nice and sharp so I'm gonna go back in with the Maybelline fit me loose powder and I'm gonna be using this side of the blender it just has a flatter side so I'm just gonna use that and just carve out that cheek area so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in brows. So what I'm going to be using to fill my brows in is going to be this LA Girl Shady Slim pencil. I am in blackest brown and I'm just going to go ahead and outline them and then fill them in with powder. For today's look, I am going to be using this palette right here. It's from Cargo Cosmetics, and it looks like this. The look is going to be more on the cooler tones and silvers, so I am. this is like perfect for that look. Um, I'm going to be staying in this area right here and then using some of these transition shades. They're all super metallic and very pretty, so this is the palette that we're going to be using for our look today. Um, to start off, I am going to be using a transition shade, so I am going to go ahead and do that. Picking up the color Passport right here, I'm going to go ahead and use that as my transition shade and start applying that all over the lid. And when I pick up these colors, I like to start in the center and deposit most of the color in the center part and then work the color outward and inward. This is going to be a little bit of a smoky eye, so just make sure that you are blending all of those colors in together. that I am using right now is the Morphe M533 brush to blend out the color. Going into the palette, I'm going to go ahead and grab a different brush. This is a little bit more dense and I'm going to go ahead and pick up this color right here and it's called Map and I'm just going to go ahead and start applying that on the very, very like upper lower part of the lid and start working that color in there. Um, sort of creating a halo eye because I want to apply a little bit of a glittery shadow in the center. Going back in with the Morphe M533, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out those edges so that everything is nice and blended. Taking a little bit of my concealer and this brush right here, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that on the center of the lid where we're going to be applying that um, glittery shade so that it holds on better and it has a better payoff um, and it makes the eye look a little bit more glam and festive. The 
shade that I'm going to be taking um, to put on the center of the lid is going to be this color right here. It's called Resort. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of luggage, which is just a little bit of a frosty color. And I'm going to go ahead and dab that with my finger on the center of the lid. Now that that color is on, I'm going to go ahead and start picking up some of the darker shades and I'm going to start really working that and making it into a halo eye. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Vacation, which is just this dark color right here, and then this next one right to it. That one is called Traveler, and I'm just going to go ahead and use Traveler first to pretty much outline around the eye and then use the color Vacation to really bring it out. Corner. I don't want it to be too dark so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the color map which is the one that we lay down as our second color and I'm just gonna use that to pretty much bring in the whole eye but I don't want to use any black in that area just because I don't want it to close off my eye and then you just make sure that you're blending that color in and out from that middle color so that everything is blended Black is always going to be a little messy and hard to work with, so if you can't get it perfectly blended, that's fine. Just You can always just go back and continue to blend out. Just start off with a little bit of product and then add more if needed, but black can be pretty intense. So I would suggest you know, using a little bit and then if you need more, then you can go back in with more. I'm taking a smaller blending brush. This one is from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up that color that we used in the beginning, which is the color Passport from the palette right in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that to blend out the edges so everything is just going into each other. And I'm going to be taking the color luggage right here and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the brow bones so that our look is nice and tight in. little bit of eyeliner so that when I do put on um, mascara the lashes are nice and full so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the Milani eye tech extreme this is in the blackest black color it looks like this I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of that and I'll be right back all right so liner is on we're gonna go ahead and finish out the eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and work on the lower lash line um, for the lower lash line I am gonna just play with the mix of the color map and vacation which is just like um, a deep grayish purple color and then the black so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the lower lash line um, just so that it mimics what we did on the top a pencil brush I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the dark color and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that dark color closest to the lash line and then you want to leave this area open because we are gonna go ahead and highlight the inner tear duct so make sure you leave that open and you don't bring it in too close so that we can put that highlight color in there Grabbing a little flat brush, I'm going to go in and apply a bone shade color right in the inner corner and then I'm going to be laying down a highlighted color. I'm going to be 
you seen this one by wet and wild it is called apricot in the middle and it looks like this and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the apples of the cheeks the the eyes are more intense and more glam so i do want to keep the face and the lip more on the nude side so for this look i'm going to be using this blush it's just a nice peachy color and i'll apply that on the apples of the cheeks and a little bit on the top of my nose love this blush because it has a little bit of sheen to it almost like a little bit of a highlight so I really like that for highlight I'm gonna be using the champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca cosmetics it looks like this and it's just a pretty champagne color which I love so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that because it'll complement the look and just make our makeup pop And I like to just add a little bit. Again, I don't like to be dripping in highlight. I just want to have a nice glow. And then remember to blend it upward this way so that it connects in a C. If you're highlighting this area, it just all goes together. Applying a little bit on the tip of the nose and then blend it out with your finger and on the bridge of the nose. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this highlighter onto the inner corners of our eyes and a little bit on the tip of the brow bone. Now for the lip color, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lips using this Too Faced Lip Insurance and this will just make sure that the lipstick stays in place. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat of that onto the lips. I love this stuff because it keeps your lipstick from bleeding so it's a very good tool to have. And then for lip liner, I'm going to be taking this NYX lip pencil and it is in the shade Sandstorm. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this um, on the lips and then apply our lip color once this is on. So now that our lip liner is on, I'm going to go ahead and use this lipstick by Bite and it is in the shade Enoki and it looks like this and it's a very nude color and I absolutely love it, especially with a look like this. Your eyes are going to be popping so we want to make sure that the lips are nice and neutral. You could pair it with a darker lip but since my last two videos have been more on the intense lip side, I did want to go ahead and do a more dramatic eye and a nudie lip so I'm giving you guys that today. This is a little too matte for me, so I do want to add a little bit of a gloss. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Plumper. And mine's a little grody because I always use it if I use a nude lip. But if it works right, let's keep using it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this in gloss. So before I leave, I obviously still haven't finished the eyes. I do need to apply mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so mascara is on. For my mascara, I did use this one by Almay, the Mega Volume Mascara. And then I also used the Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara. I like this one for volume and then this one to... <laughs> And then this one to separate the lashes and really give me fullness, but also give me length. So these are the two that I use. To set the brows, you already know the brow pre-size is what we're going to use today. I am in the shade Brunette, and I'm going to go ahead and apply just a small coat of this onto the brows so that we can go ahead and set these in place. To 
set the face, I'm going to go ahead and use my Mario Badescu Rose Water along with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I like this one because it keeps me hydrated and then this one locks it in in place. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that on. I'm going in with the All Nighter. So yeah, you guys, this completes the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out. I definitely love the smoky but silver eye with the nude lip. Everything else came out very nicely. Um, if you guys want to see more videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments with any suggestions of any looks that you might want to see, any products that you might want me to try. I'm still very new to all of this, so I'm just, you know, trying things here and there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.